All right, slow pitch. Still fishing in uh, Saloya. It's not a new technique, but it's a uh, very fine technique when the fish is not biting. Very aggressive. You can fish slowly. And in any way you get, uh, you can get not active fish to bite. So the technique is when you're letting down the lure. than fishing with uh, heavy rods. These rods are very thin, very thin. So you don't start to pull on the rod and reel in. Pull on the rod. Now keep the rod level and you're reeling in. That's why these reels are very important. They have to work. They have to take all the pressure up. See? Fish won't be as aggressive as you as you as normally fighting a fish because they get uh, a pressure all the way up, the same pressure, you see, don't work with the rod, simply reel it in, yes. small size. Assist hooks. That's why you always have two hooks in the fish. Normally the fish won't come up. Have a special size, special shape of lure. It's one size and all the weight. So when it goes down, the lure will do that. And on this side you have a shape like a spoon. So when it hits the water, it goes left and right. That's why it makes so many action. Let's do it again. Let's hope there's still fish here. Anyway, we're fishing now at Soroya. It's now 12 o'clock at night. Still light. I hope there is enough light to make this movie. But it's not healthy for a fisherman, Soroya. You can keep on fishing all day and all night. You don't sleep. Just fishing. Pitch up, slow down. Fishing with the rod from Ixoga. Even this small rod was built to work with lures from weights of till 500, oh, 500 gram. Even it's a small thin rod, there's a lot of power. A lot of power in such a small rod. Yep. Yep. You see, you have to fish all the all the levels of, of the water. The fish will follow the lure, follow the bait. These are not the biggest fish I know. There's a lot of fish here, but you can do this technique with every kind of fish. This week I had a halibut called uh, cod on this technique. different types of fish you can catch with this. It's a fun way of fishing too. Well, 
right now I'm trying to get through these, uh, these small fish because underneath this big school of fish there are the bigger ones, uh, the halibuts, the big cods. This morning I caught a cod from uh, 1 meter 24, 22 kilo, also with this very thin rod. So now is the problem that I don't get through the school of fish. There are so many, so many fish here. My lure is not fast enough, not heavy enough to get uh, to the bottom. That's the problem. So, uh, if you see the technique, slow up. There's one already. You see, the big fish don't have time to, uh, to get my lure. Small ones are uh, more aggressive or they are more hungry. You can also do this more longer. If you're holding the rod like this, you are pulling with your arm. Like this one. Put it here. This is strong. You're only using the reel to get the fish up. It's like a tackle. It's easier. You can do this very long time and with uh, less effort. These are not the fish we're, uh, we're going out, we're not fishing for these small fish, we are uh, hoping to get down under that big school of fish. But the lures simply don't have the time to get there. What is also special about these rods, these uh, slow pitching, slow technique style, the eyes on the rod, they are not only on top, they, stop on, they start on top and they turn away the underside of the rod, of the blank. That is why if you pull that rod up, the line never touches the blank. It always hits the eyes, but not the blank. So, let's start again to try to get a bigger one. It's crazy how many fish there is here. two assist hooks and one hook is most of the time in the mouth but the other hook of course is spinning around and then the hook is sometimes most of the time just uh, not in the mouth so uh, oh, when you took it on the way down right. so slow going slow up letting down so when I'm leaving the rod going down the lure we go left right left right oh. Yeah, okay. 
So it's a bit like uh, the jerkbait fishing on freshwater for pike fishing. So we make the lure look like uh, a dying fish. We do it now the same thing, but then at the vertical way. So the fish will act, or the lure will act like a fish who is dying. So that's an uh, easy prey for, uh, for predators. And that's what we are trying to imitate with this way of fishing. It's not a new, it's not a holy technique, I know. But it's uh, sometimes a nice, different way of fishing. We all have uh, big lures, we have uh, pilgrims, we have... This way of fishing is just another way, with light, light weight. You can do it all day and it's really fun to do. You see, sometimes the fish don't even notice that they are hooked until they are on the surface. That's why they get a, a constant pressure from the reel. So I don't work with the rod, I reel him in. of course but uh, it's getting late and uh, tomorrow is another day I hope you have seen uh, another way in our technique nothing special the slow pitch style uh, the rods are specially designed by Xoga also the reel it's very small handy you can fit in your hand that is practical yeah? you must work all day with it so it's important that it's not too big yeah it has a lot of power big stock because the fish is already okay I got a fish a little bit more then get to bed bye